Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to the VTV channel. VTV is a weekly series of interviews with industry experts on the latest topics in travel e-business, and specifically online merchandising practices that help hoteliers extract more value out of their online presence. As always, we encourage you to email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com to suggest topics that you would like us to cover in future episodes. Today I'm joined by Edward Perry. Edward has uh, 20 years of industry experience, 10 of which he has spent at World Hotels in his most current appointment as Senior Director of E-Commerce. He manages strategic alliances in the Americas and Asia between online booking and technology partners at World Hotels portfolio of close to 500 properties worldwide. Edward also sits on the board of Hedna and is uh, co-chair for Online Revealed. Edward, thank you for joining us today on VTV. It's my pleasure, John. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, our topic today is really um, uh, discussing and getting a better understanding from your view uh, about visual merchandising. And I, I, as we have talked about, there's a recent study that Adobe has put out that revealed some interesting insights into uh, what consumers want to see when they're researching products online. Uh, and it talks about uh, visually rich experiences, uh, the ability to see details and more. Um, this study was done for many different e-retail uh, industries, uh, but not the travel industry. Uh, but I think there's some learnings that hoteliers can uh, pick up from uh, other e-retail businesses. Uh, so in your opinion, how can hotels uh, go about uh, giving travel shoppers what they want uh, when they're researching for hotels online? Well, John, there are many uh, suggestions I would have for hotels, but the first one I would have, take a look at your hotel and your images of your hotel based on what you would look at if you're going on a vacation. What are you going to be looking for? You might be interested in the pool, you might be interested in the, the steam room, the jacuzzi, the spa, and then think about all of the pictures and all of the angles of the pictures that you would need in order to express those images to the consumer. Consumers are looking for various things and they're all looking for something totally different. So try to address exactly what the consumer may be looking for and make sure that in your videos, in your 360 degree tours, in your static images, that you include a flavor that will uh, try to give a better image of your property to the majority of the consumers. Are there anything in particular you think that travel shoppers are looking for uh, in the visually rich experiences um, that uh, hotels can provide to them? They're looking for an experience, John. The point of a shooting a video is not to shoot the beautiful bed with the beautifully laid out robe and the beautifully laid out towel on top of the bed. It's about in expressing an experience and that experience needs to be expressed in the video. So when you're shooting a video, don't just move the camera from one end of the room to the other or one end of the spa to another, but rather think about the experience that you wish to convey to the consumer. So that experience hopefully will result in conversion of your property on online travel agency sites and your own brand icon site. Are there certain types of uh, media, in your opinion, that hotels should focus on in order to provide a, a, a more visually rich experience for travel shoppers? Well, absolutely, John. Uh, static images is absolutely essential. There's no argument there. But I think it's extremely important to include video into the equation. Video has so many purposes these days that it's absolutely imperative that a property consider at least one or two videos. The videos can be used on their own website. They can be distributed uh, through online travel agency sites worldwide. They can be distributed to travel agencies on their own GDS and Pegasus systems. They can be distributed to social media sites and create a viral effect of their video. They can be shared in that viral environment. They can be put on travel sites like I go, you go. All things that you can do with a video, just one video and one small investment is so worth the investment, so worth the work. Right, so uh, the video is that lead in that you talked to, uh, talked about previously about delivering the experience and, and 
conveying the experience that one's going to see at that hotel when they get there. That's exactly right, John. The video is an essential component of their sales and marketing efforts. How effective do you believe that uh, video in particular uh, in delivering a rich visual experience, uh, how effective do you believe that they are in converting travel shoppers into buyers? Well, what I'd like to tell all of our hotels uh, every day is that the video is the differentiator. It's a dif differentiator between what some hotel brands may not have and what our hotel brand and other hotel brands have and are able to distribute and be able to be more competitive in the marketplace because of the video. But in essence, what we like to tell hotels is that the video, like static images, is today one of the essential marketing tools that they need in order to distribute the property wisely. And it certainly seems that uh, video is not uh, as expensive to produce these days as it used to be. What, what types of ways, do you have any suggestions for hoteliers and what types of ways that they can go about creating videos? Absolutely. Well, we certainly have found the drop in uh, video cost over the last couple of years. A few years ago, the main talk for many of our properties was that video, distrib video cost and distribution was just too expensive for them. Many of our hotels are independent with independent ownerships. But nowadays, videos are sometimes less than a thousand US dollars. And, and there's really no reason with a couple of room nights expenditure on an average room night about a hundred fifty, two hundred dollars a night, with five room nights as the, the base uh, in terms of getting your costs back, there's really no reason not to put a video into your budget because they're so inexpensive, and I know companies like VFM and Leonardo do provide uh, videos at a very low cost of uh, creation. Great. Um, Edward, thank you very much for joining us today on VTV and sharing your insights on uh, what travel shoppers are looking for uh, with visually rich experiences. My pleasure, John. Thank you so much. To all the viewers out there, be sure to post your comments on this episode of VTV and subscribe to our feed to receive more valuable insights from industry experts.